information you can count on. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Well, for years, the Southern Command Network has been known as the home away from home television and radio station. You can always count on us to bring you the latest local news, sports, and weather. Well, tonight brings to a close the television news portion of our mission. Earlier today, SCN deactivated, bringing together SCNers past and present, along with many family members and friends one last time. Kiara Jones was there. 58 years of dedicated service came to an end as the Southern Command Network deactivated. Since 1941, SCN has been broadcasting in Panama, providing entertainment and information to troops, family members, and DOD civilians in Central America. This is SCN News, information you can count on. What started as four hours of music, sports, and news turned into round-the-clock satellite broadcast on four radio frequencies, four cable television channels, and two broadcast television signals. The unit has been a pioneer for military broadcasting and for Panama. It's difficult to comprehend the end of broadcast operations in Panama. For nearly 60 years, SCN has been playing the hits, telling soldier stories, keeping the community informed, and most important of all, being the command information medium of choice for the commanding general. SCN was the first to broadcast English radio and the first to broadcast television in Panama. They were also the first armed forces radio and television service to receive satellite network feeds and to broadcast on cable. In many ways, SCN has offered an example of the best of U.S. electronic media, responsible, current, and accurate news on the topics of the day delivered by up-to-date technology. Every step of the way, SCN continued to provide top quality news and information. They are the only network in armed forces radio and television to earn a battle streamer for their work during Operation Just Cause and was the only television station to remain on the air inside the combat zone. Their professionalism has been commended with hundreds of service and Department of Defense awards. And on this day, they complete another first as the first network in AFRTS history to close. It's indeed a bittersweet event. It's sad to watch a good friend, an institution, if you will, go away. And that's what SCN is and always has been to American service members and their families stationed here throughout the years. Though the unit has deactivated, the Southern Command Network remains on the air, broadcasting radio out of remote vans until the last service member leaves Panama. Air Force Sergeant Kiara Jones, SCN News. Sure, by Van Halen? Okay.